Hi guys, and welcome to the latest installment of the crazy development of GD. It's 7.18 in the morning, Friday morning, uh, the 26th of September 2014. And this is the end of uh, maybe um, two weeks of pedestrian innovation since the last video. Uh, I've gone through a lot of trials and tribulations to speed things up and to make them um, work at an optimized rate and things like that. But I now have 40 characters in the world uh, which are all actual script controlled NPCs. After that dramatic intro, let's have a look at it. I am on the sing tower by now. I think I started about three o'clock. It's pretty hardcore when you're coding for ages and then suddenly you think, oh, you know, the air would be good. And it doesn't hold things up too much. It provides you a bit of uh, inspiration and happiness when you're starting to think, oh, God, I've spent so long doing this. What am I doing? And then you think, well, you know, I can watch a show, have a beer while I do it. But this game won't actually uh, fail like my last one, <laughs> or my last 50. Yeah. But, uh, you know, it, it is a worry when you're developing games that you suddenly think, I'm just plowing my life into this and nothing's happening. Uh, like when I worked on my zombie game, I remember taking a, a week or something off and coding in a hotel in Borneo when I should have been out having fun, but I, I just coded and coded and coded and coded instead of doing anything because I thought it was for the greater good but in the end not only did I drop my hard drive and lose all of that but the game actually got cancelled too don't know why this is taking so long to load uh, but there is that worry so you know when people are making these games it's, it's a serious uh, dedication you might have noticed a few things new things there's an eagle or a raven in fact just landed on the top of the uh, building over there and uh, I now have a gun by default but you don't see it um, that is because we are going to do them in a very special way at some point soon right I'm just gonna run around and see what I can show off here so I don't know what's new and what's not I think this guy's new and this guy is interesting because you follow him and he takes a sleep on a bench but he takes a while to get down there, so while that's happening, we'll have a look at these two guys who are new. One of them's glugging away on a bottle of uh, alcohol, the other one is almost smoking uh, a massive joint. Oh, and there's a guy up there, look. Right, well, let's catch up with the guy. Oh, it's a bit awkward here at the moment. Let's catch up with this guy, because he should go to sleep on this bench. I don't want to miss it. Here he is. There he is. Bit awkward, but... Uh... I'll just fire that. A bit awkward, but yeah, he's having a good snooze, isn't he? Sort of hovering a bit, but in about five or ten seconds, he'll get up and then he'll carry on walking uh, down. See, the movement was quick. Now, at the moment, I'm just getting used to it, but I'm thinking I should probably stick in, uh, mini animations between them for getting up and stuff instead of using speed and tricks of the eye to, to, to hack it, but, you know, just getting a bloke walking around the world was my first thought. You see his feet are going to the ground there as well. So you get these things working and then later you can actually add the complexity in that you need, but at the beginning you can't do all of the complexity. It's just too complicated for the, for the brain to handle. There's a spider down there, which is, uh, I'll explain at some point, but it's going to be hiding under the bottom of the world and you won't see it like that. It should be upside down crawling underneath. And you won't see it unless you fall off and die. <coughs> It'll be scary though when you do. So this bloke disappears into the German cine club. Well, literally, he shouldn't have disappeared like that. Uh, it, so he went in there and now he's actually started a new route um, where I first caught him and he will do that all day. But his route is long enough so it's kind of mysterious and kind of cool too. I mean, not many games actually track people who are going from one place to another, you know, they fake it. Whereas in this game, absolutely everything you see is is real at this point anyway. Every person you see, 
in the distance is actually en route to somewhere from somewhere and they will go in and they will do something uh, right there's a rat here I want to demonstrate oh no there's a cool thing I want to demonstrate first behind here there's a fight that kicks off down the alleyway <laughs> with a couple of idiots now let's see what the best angle to see it is I'm gonna run in from here because what happens is when I get round the corner over there where my crosshair is, uh, I hit a trigger and begin the fight. So I want to get in quickly so we can see a bit of action. You can see them there, right? They're both squaring up. I've made separate animations for squaring up and that took uh, like about five hours to get these guys right to the point where they don't jump from one position to another when they actually have a fight. Because even having them stand and stuff uh, wasn't working, so I had to have them square up like that. And you won't know about the trigger anyway, so you'll just see them. And this only happens the first time when you see them, or the first time every time you load it, I guess. You'll see them and you'll be like, what the hell? So you'll run in and you'll see, like, a bit of a fight going on. Bang, he knocks him down. Then he walks away like a proper twat. And then hides, he goes in here, turns around, and then starts uh, laughing and, and being silly. I thought maybe you could have it. So he's like, oh, look at me, I'm so tough. Nobody can beat me up. And this bloke, he could maybe search his body or, or talk to him or throw him off the edge or something. But yeah, this guy basically does that. And that is a, a decent demonstration of um, triggering animations beautifully and perfectly because neither of these people are physically in the game. They're not rigid, but oh, there's the rat, look. How cool is that? He runs around the bottom of the uh, level and you're able to kill him and stuff. So like, Oh, he's awesome, isn't he? Turn here. Oh, that shouldn't have happened. Or maybe... No, he should loop underneath uh, here so you don't see him underneath there. But anyway, there is the rat. Like I say, things are not all working properly. But what I was saying was, I'm not using rigid bodies. There's no physics involved in this rat, or him on the ground, or even him. They're all positioned and uh, triggered pinpoint perfectly. You, you will be able to interact with them though. I, I'm thinking every character in the game will literally have a different name and you'll be able to talk to every one of them to get information out of them and things like that. Let's have a close look at this idiot. So that's the thing, they'll be interactable but they don't all need to be truly physically interactable, if you know what I mean. Anyway, here we are in Wall's End. This area is based on Newcastle. Well. It's got some bars and clubs and well, there's the rat look again. And now I've got a new platform up here which makes it a lot easier to get across. Um, this place has been resized but apart from that not much happening. You can now get up a lot easier up here. It was, it was impossible. I, I did have an elevator in the back in the day but it was deleted. And I've put a lot of paths around here as well. This area is not nice looking or developed yet, but there are paths where you can go all the way along here and you can actually get up on here. And you can see that over there there's the Wollong Club, which has traditionally been very hard to get to, and still is. And there's a shop jolt machine. Now, um, <coughs> I've had a nasty cough this week, so apologize any coughing. I fell asleep under the AC something and I just felt weird after that. So yeah these guys or well, we looked at them. Uh, I have an inspector down here as well who has no chair at the moment and his feet stick in the ground but I was thinking maybe this bloke could uh, could be like uh, inspecting the machinery because the idea originally was to have lots of workers down here but I preferred it looking quite empty so I thought maybe now and again you could come over and there's an inspector or something. Uh, we went into the dandelion still, did we? New bar. Guy doing the robot dance in here. Well, these guys haven't been uh, styled or tweaked. And I could change a lot of things about them. But, uh, you know, that happens over time. What else have I got? Some cool stuff. There's the raven. That's pretty cool. Um, oh, I don't know, good one. This has all been done tonight, by the way, everything I'm showing. Well, tonight or last night. There's a woman sitting here who sort of probably needs a bit better texture than that, but 
She she's on the phone right now of sorts and she puts it down. She's on a computer or something. You could put some decks under her hands. Put it put in the earphone instead of the uh, instead of the mobile uh, like uh, headphones. But yeah, she's supposed to be chilling, doing some work, you know, like while she's in this sort of area, which is like you know before Port Moresby. There's that green dude from earlier. Port Moresby is going to be like the port, and they can you can get out of the whole city there. So the people who naturally use this coffee shop here, a bit like they do in airports. So I've got these uh, two business people here, even the, uh, the luggage and everything. And these are very subtle, very 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 low poly subtle movements of just people sitting on chairs, but it actually works really well. If you'll there's a bit of jitter there at the moment, but forget the jitter. That works uh, pretty well. Very low poly, very low uh, animation. But it just gets it. And uh, that's actually how I've managed to get the 40 people going, because I've had to drop the polygon count very, very high. I'm not sure if I've... I don't know, I haven't showed the burger guy. There's a guy here eating a burger. It's a bit dark, actually. Um, and I've had to decimate this bloke because he actually turned out to be 130,000 polygons, which is a lot too much for a, for an ordinary man standing eating a burger. So that's why it was slow. And the other two guys in the bar, they were... <laughs> he looks like he's looking at me when, I'm, when he's eating it, isn't he? Is he? No, he's not. The, the uh, other two guys in the bar were also decimated, and the quality of them has actually gone down a, a fair bit. I've got them down to 6,000 polygons from 130 which is uh, pretty good uh, but the quality has dropped a little bit but not that noticeably. This may or may not work. We've started on a trigger here where you can actually sit down at the table. Stop. There you go look he's, I'm not touching anything now he's doing this automatically so it's sort of so you can sit down meet people get missions have a chat with people um, yeah, this book's been decimated too. He's a lot lower quality, but a lot less polygons, and he just looks a bit rougher, a bit less clean cut. Uh, I've got a park up here now, and these steps are in fact quite oh, brand new. This park, look, is full of water. It's inspired by these sort of little parks you get in Hong Kong. In fact, I have a little path up here which goes to the Royal Prawn now. You can't teleport in yet, but I think you can get there. Uh, this park, and it's like a cool little park like you get in Hong Kong, Taipei, that sort of thing. Really miniature parks. You'll have to forgive the flashing here, it's because of the occlusion culling. And this little frog that swims around, he normally looks a lot better. He normally, like, you can see him through the water and stuff, but I've turned on occlusion culling, which affects reflections and stuff, but it also speeds the game up two games or something, which is essentially what I need. So I need to work out a, a, a sort of... Uh, compromise between occlusion culling and reflections because it's a real shame because he looks so cool when you normally see him and you can see issues with the refraction and that there but look you can see a guy coming along here towards me he actually comes to the park and has a little chilling session at this chair here at the moment he just sits could have him do anything you know he could do a bit of tai chi or something falun gong he could get his head kicked in for that one though um here we go Oh, twat. Let's take a nice seat at the table and, and for some reason at the chair. His chin's gone massive as well. But like, you know, it's the wacky world of GD, so I might have to let that go because I've got no idea why that's happened. In about 10 seconds, he'll get up and he will wander his way down to, um, well, it, he might go to, there's two places he can go, yeah. He could go to the Royal Prawn or he could go to the uh, Flux Cubits bar. Looks like he's chosen to go to Flux Cubits. Very tempting to explode him, but I want to see him go into the bar. So he should go into here and disappear into that teleporter, which is just thrown in for now. It's not, not optimized and it's not the right images or anything. But that will be his route, and then he will appear back at the art gallery uh, 15 Peter 20 where he began. This bloke's going to go in now. You see, he's not quite convincing because he's missed it and stuff, but I think if you get this right, like that looked quite convincing, actually. And I can go in there if I want. Not right now, but theoretically. Oh, this is good, too. Watch this. Watch this. The heads are CCTV cameras. Have I really not done a video for that long? See the reflection, too. 
But, what's this? Oh, yes. And... You can shatter the fragments. Oh, yes. Uh, one more. Ah! Oh, and I haven't put any more ammo in. It's a bit annoying. But you can shatter their heads, you can shatter the CCTV heads. I wasted too many bullets trying to hit that fragment. Oh wait, there is actually... Is there a... A Magnum or somewhere? She's still being silly. I'll fix her. Shark on its, on its own little route. You can actually shatter the shark too. Might be thankful for this Magnum. Oh yes. Animated train advert there for Dick Transport, which is the company responsible for the uh, Matador, which is this train station, and pretty much all of the transport in the uh, in the game. Oh, let me shatter that shark while he thinks he's being cool right next to me. Look at him! Bang! See you later. I don't condone killing sea creatures, obviously. In reality, um, most people can obviously I can shut up. Boom! Now I want to find a CCTV head to shut because they they're, they're kind of cool too. Well, that woman over there, she's she's got to be shut up. Can even hurt you. I'll wait till it's close. Watch. Oh, didn't hurt me, but it can actually kill you. I'm gonna do it right, right when she's in my face, so to speak. Oh? Didn't... No, I don't know. Should hurt me. Um, have I turned off the CCTV heads? That would explain, actually, why it's running quite well, but I don't think so. I've reduced a lot of people so that I don't get... I don't keep seeing uh, the same people. And I've built this network of... Get out of the way, man! This network of... Uh, walkways here, all the way up here and around, and the pipes and stuff. So you can like get around without people can get around without having to walk through each other, which oh, I've got the rap lock scheme here. That's the frog. The rap lock scheme. Um, and it's it's so that people can walk around without getting walking through each other because I've removed the physics. Uh, so it's easier to have different routes than it is to have them bump off each other. Now there's a CCTV head. He actually lives or works or surveils, if that's a word, the rap lock scheme. Uh, and if you look at the quality of his body, like I've got, uh, that's a real electronic, well, a real electronics uh, photo I took from the circuit board. Oh no, he doesn't. He lives elsewhere. He lives in Kelso Gardens. This one, uh, that shouldn't be there. Um, and the quality's nice, yeah, whatever. But look at the CCTV camera; it's cool too. But if I shoot it, oh! <laughs> Wait, I think there is more bullets around here in uh, Port Moresby. It's not actually meant to be bullets at this point, so I'm looking for things that are lying around. Oh, I've got 19 that even shouldn't be there. But he's going to come around this corner in a minute. I'm going to, I'm going to blast his CCTV off, so to speak. Come on, then. What the hell is he? Did he skip? Oh, there he is. He's just, he's really slow. This bloke. Uh, this is the rubbish dump, broken. And that was a sabron. I don't know why the sound cut off. Uh, right, right, let's see if I can... Oh, they're just getting jammed around here. Went through each other there. See, I need different paths there to avoid that sort of thing. It's a weird place for the businessman to be, especially floating about two foot off the ground. Right, watch this. Oh, yes. No gravity on the fragments, that's deliberate. Delay on the explosion is not deliberate. Oh, there's definitely no more bullets, I'm not going to waste them. Uh, but unfortunately, that's because the CCTV camera has 3,000 uh, polygons, so I'm either going to have to pre explode it or decimate it or something. Or get a, get a weaker, like a, a lower poly one. But uh, I love it actually because this twat is going to go into Kelso Gardens, far too big for the door. And that balcony up there, you'll be able to get up there later and chill out. Whoa, and he's back out again. 
Obviously, I need a delay on that uh, so it doesn't just loop. But you get the general idea with the loops. It, they are going from one place to another. He's going to disappear into there, and I'm going to uh, disappear once he does. Boom. Well, I'm not, but I mean, I'm going to run up here. Um, and I think that is pretty much everything, really. I could shatter this bloke if I want. Oh, did I hit the did I hit the teleporter? First time for everything. This guy. Oh, see, he doesn't shatter properly, really. But it's quite interesting, parts of him flying around and stuff. Although I'm not convinced that the game isn't now slower due to that. But yeah, this, uh, this seems to be pretty much summing up everything. Oh, no. I've left the best till last, haven't I? There's a, there's a pool on the top of Lords. Well, let me get there. You know, it's already over. <clears throat> 20 minutes, so if you're watching by now, you're, you're genuinely interested. And you're going to get to see some breasts as well for your troubles. Uh, it's a gay bar, actually, and it should be naked men or men in speedos or something. And it will probably be, but at different points, different people will uh, be in this place. <laughs> Um, you can just see them up there. There's a guy up there. He's huge, actually. Uh, and there's... Ah, oh, I don't know if I showed this guy, too. He's skipping around. He's supposed to be some sort of fool skipping around outside the place. Watch. And he could have a little... could be singing. But up there, there's a game of volleyball going on, which you really... You know, you, you like, oh, I wish I was up there, man. Like, there's some hot women up there playing volleyball. Or some men in speedos, whatever your preference. So you can't get there at the moment, but I can teleport there because I'm a legend. Oh, the blimp as well, and the hawk. And when you get up here, well, first of all, you see this guy, like in an inflatable steed. And then you see these women playing uh, topless volleyball or something. There's no ball, obviously, but the animation quality is quite amazing, and I have the same for naked men and I did try to <laughs> I did spend some time trying to put a genitalia on the men um, so it would be fair you know but uh, with such low poly people uh, it was it was quite it was not possible but uh, yeah at this point in time we have like naked women on the roof bald naked women on the roof playing a non-existent game of uh, beach volleyball and this bloke here is getting properly excited by it he's like oh man probably complaining like he's to the real game, uh, and obviously these things are all subject to change, but you know you can see the general sort of gist of what uh, we're going for here. Look at him, he's so serious about it, he said, no, yeah! So yeah, that is probably the coolest thing I did tonight, apart from the fight, which was pretty genius, I showed you it before. I'm going to, just to prove the world is working, I'm going to go down there and the body will be there and the guy will still be... Oh, wrong place. Yeah, look, the body's there, still. It's all real, no memory cleanups, not yet anyway. Um, and the villainous laugh is still going on from this sort of Ferris Bueller wannabe. Uh, this is, you can actually see a bloke taking the new root look that I've built here, that's all new too. Another way, oh there's the spider you see, you catch that glimpse now and again, it'll be flipped over a different way. Uh, and just a few more roots going around, oh one last thing, one last thing, I know this video's getting silly now. If you're still watching here then Radiant Silver Lab salutes you, but look at this, I've got this weird pipe here, at the end of the pipe got this like meditating boy now I don't know if that'll stay go be weird look he's actually floating as well uh, or he'll be like some secret or something but you know the ideas are all just getting implanted still and he's uh, he's pretty cool a bit scary out on this pipe too next to the old speakeasy Oh. There's the wee ratty. 
the ears look. I don't know why I'm shooting him, I know damn fine he can't die. And this is about the end of the video because that is the current state of genocide dolphins. Stay tuned for more madness and I think you'll agree that last three weeks of pedestrian madness is paying off um, and I've learned a lot about Unity on how to keep these things low CPU draining and uh, got very much into Adventure Creator. Thanks very much for watching.